If you're gonna talk to me like that, you can look me in the face and speak to me like that. Seriously, be a man. man. You're pushing your luck, man. You put. What the hell is that, dude? <laughs> Are you serious, man? Since it premiered in 2012, the American reality TV show Counting Cars has grown to be a huge sensation. Like every other car show out there, it's studded with outrageous drama and suspense that keeps millions of fans glued to their TV screens waiting for the next episode. Despite the exaggerated drama and suspense, the TV show Counting Cars is nothing without cast members like Danny Coker, Horny Mike, Rolly Zabo, and Shannon Iko, and many more. These cast members, with their unique personalities and level of expertise in different aspects of the car customization business, made the show more exciting and memorable. Seeing how successful counting cars turn out to be, let's find out just how much each cast member was paid for appearing on the show. You guys know where the keys are? I can't find the keys. Dude. Put in your head. Mike was trying something different. Blockbuster movies and TV series make a lot of money, no doubt. But for a car-themed reality TV show like Counting Cars, things are different. Automotive reality shows are often considered unattractive by producers and networks due to the lengthy repair durations that drag out filming time and the need for a relatively large workforce. Also, it is quite hard for networks like Discovery Channel to justify how much work each cast member has put into restoring each vehicle that comes through the shop and how it affects each episode in the overall show to pay them accordingly. Since many of these cast members live a simple lifestyle, unlike TV actors, the average pay for cast members on the show like Counting Cards is about $2,000 to $5,000. But Danny Coker is not your average cast member, and he largely dominates the estimated $20 million net worth of the show's cast. Danny Coker is not just an ordinary cast member as he owns Counts Customs, the shop where Counting Cards is filmed. He was born into a car family with a history of working for the Ford Motor Company for years. Danny was raised in Cleveland, Ohio, and unlike some of Counting Cars cast members, he has spent some time in the spotlight before appearing on the TV show. At age 11, Danny performed at Carnegie Hall as a musician, and when he was a little older, he introduced B-horror movies on the Vegas TV station KFBT. During his stints on KFBT, Coker was usually dressed up as a vampire or you can say Elvis impersonator, and that unique style of dressing gave him the nickname The Count's Cool Rider. However, Danny moved on from his days hosting B-horror movie shows to the car customization business but kept the nickname The Count. Due to the self-taught mechanic experience, The Count was already making a decent income from the car customization business that started in the 90s. He ventured into reality TV with Counting Stars, which has been pretty rewarding. While there are no official numbers, the rumors are that Danny gets paid about $100,000 for every episode. Seeing as the show has 160 episodes, Danny may or may not have been paid a total of $16 million for his role in Counting Cars. However, considering Danny's estimated net worth of $13 million, that reported $100,000 per episode might have come later as Counting Cards gained popularity and became a household name. Aside from the show and Count's Customs, Danny owns a bar restaurant called Count's Vamped Rock and a tattoo parlor. He's also the lead singer for the band Count 77. All of these businesses and ventures contribute to his income and net worth. Danny may be the main man, but he can't do everything all by himself. That's why he has a right-hand man. Kevin Mack has been Danny's right-hand man and comrade for more than two decades. He took up the position of manager of Count's Customs in 2013. Kevin has been on the TV show Counting Cars since it premiered in 2012 and can usually be found with Danny, accompanying him to buy old cars. We'll see you in Beer City, USA, Grand Rapids, Michigan, the end of June. Don't you dare miss it, brother! Late in September 2020, Kevin took to Twitter to announce the show's new episodes. However, the fans would discover that Kevin, who has been a mainstay on the show for years, was absent. Fans speculated why Kevin may have been absent from the show or, even worse, fired from counting cars. However, Kevin took to Twitter to confirm and dispel the rumors that despite his absence from counting cars, he is still an important part of Count's Customs. However, Kevin didn't state why he would no longer be appearing on the show, 
and the producers didn't make an official statement either. But reports speculate that Kevin's absence from the show may have been due to a scheduling conflict. Kevin plays a significant role in Count's Customs. He's also a significant cast member on the show Counting Cars. However, the exact amount he was paid for appearing on the show remains undisclosed to the public. Kevin's net worth is estimated to be around $1 million, with most of that accumulated from his earnings as an employee of Count's Customs and his salary as a cast member of Counting Cars. Kevin's fee may remain undisclosed, but there's another cast member whose salary we can put a price on. Roly Zabo's net worth is a far cry from Danny's or Kevin's net worth. However, his role in Counting Cars and at Count's Customs is no less important. Roly is Hungarian-born, and his thick accent served as a source of entertainment for fans of the show. Before Count's Customs and the TV show, Roly worked as a personal assistant and bodyguard, so the shop and the TV show must be a huge step for him. Roly was paid around $2,000 per episode for appearing on Counting Cars. If we punch our calculators, that's $320,000 over 10 seasons. Away from the TV show, Roly's job at Count's Customs is to clean and polish the vehicles leaving the shop. It might not seem like much, but it's a very lucrative job that has significantly contributed to his net worth of $200,000. Before Rolling got to cleaning and polishing, there are some guys that make sure that the cars and bikes are looking great already. Ryan Evans is the lead painter and airbrush artist at Count's Customs, with over 20 years of experience. He attended high school at the Frankfurt American High School in Germany. Shannon discovered Ryan, and since then, he has been responsible for beautifying every major project the shop has embarked on. He is praised for his passion for the craft and the grace he handles each project. He's also recognized for his patience when dealing with his co-workers on the show. Ryan has been on Counting Cars since its inception. He has good relationships with everyone in the shop and is consistently at the forefront of innovating and developing new initiatives on the show. One of Ryan's innovations is his golden-colored 1969 Cadillac Coupe Custom. Oh, wow. dude! And he <laughs> lied to me about everything! Bro, this is gorgeous! Ryan's exact paycheck for each episode of the show remains undisclosed. Even his net worth is somewhat sketchy, estimated to be around $1 million to $6 million. Shannon was born and raised in Hawaii. He's always loved bikes and cars. Not only that, he also loved going on trips using bikes or cars and ended up starting to build them and found his way to Count's Customs. Later in his career, Shannon Iko would be credited for discovering Ryan Evans' talent and making him a part of Counting Cars. On the show, automotive enthusiasts can't help but love Shannon's creations. One of his most memorable builds is the 62 Carmen Ghia he built for his wife. The car is built on an episode of Counting Cars. Away from the show and at the shop, Shannon works as the bike shop manager and lead builder. Danny employed him after he met him and was impressed by his technical know-how and engineering aptitude. So far, Shannon has led a very private life and kept details about his personal life away from the public eye. The amount he was paid for appearing on the TV show is a mystery, but online sources peg his net worth to be around $1.2 million. Seeing as Shannon Eichel's role and net worth is similar to that of Kevin Mack, they might be earning the same paycheck as cast members of Counting Cars. If you thought the talent discovered by Shannon was the only airbrush painter on the show, you'd be very wrong. Like Ryan and every other cast member on this list, Horny Mike has been on Counting Cars since the first episode. However, unlike most cast members, Horny Mike stands out. Born as Michael Henry in Michigan, Mike made his way to Las Vegas in search of greener pastures after the failure of his first business, a car and motorcycle repair shop. After settling in Vegas, Mike worked as a t-shirt painter who sometimes made personalized license plates. This job set him on the path to putting his creative mind into a craft people love. Mike left his job as a t-shirt painter to join Count's Customs, and when the show premiered, it was only natural that he'd be on it. Horny Mike made a name for himself on the show due to outrageous looks, extravagance, and his eagerness to put horns on everything he owns. Mike's obsession for horns gave him the nickname Horny Mike and made him one of the most memorable cast members of the show. However, Mike's style doesn't usually align with the Count's preferences, and he has had to tone down some of his creations to simpler designs. 
coming to his payment from the show, well, the exact amount Mike was paid for appearing on the TV show is a secret we sadly have been unable to unravel, but we know he's worth about $800,000. On the other hand, Mike has not been present for every episode of Counting Cars, and his absence has been blamed on people who are not huge fans of his personality.